been so many gunshots for so many years that some people in Shreveport are becoming numb to the violence. But the violence me, bears the burden we all are paying. Yeah. The exact. From paganism. The problem is that they're not with that. That's how we talk about what's going on. Do you think that we plan to sell? We plan to sell. You see the army, and yeah, we the sons of God, and we stand with some. It's real. We're to have power with God and man prevail. You know that Israel will flex up. He's his name, man, because I know why they rage. Yeah, they're the most I can. So step on them, step on them, step on them, step on them. Step on, 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 step Hey, what's your name? Tyrone. Tyrone. What's your name, sis? Ty. Ty. How old are you, man? 33. 33? Okay, you my age. What about you, sis? 39. 31? Okay, all praise, all praise. Y'all together? No, that's my sister. <laughs> that's your sister? Okay, all praise. Uh, let me ask you a question. Y'all grew up with both y'all parents in the same household? Just just your mom, probably? No, neither I one? I ain't even raised. Y'all ain't raised, y'all? So y'all done have neither one, neither parent, right? Uh, it's a long story. Long story. But basically, y'all grew up in a broken household, right? How you think that is? It's a rock 7 to 23, real quick. Uh huh, which he shall leave. You know what I'm talking about. So, rock chapter 7, verse 23. Hast thou children, instruct them, and bow down their neck from their youth. Right, so with this one commandment, this is going to change our whole community, right? We got these youngsters running around with their pants hanging below their waist because they don't have any guidance, right? But it say we as men and you as women, we're supposed to raise our kids and instruct them when they're young, right? Because if you wait until they, what, 17, 18, they ain't going to listen to you, right? The, the world ain't already got a hold to them. But keep going, watch this. Has thou daughters have a care of their body? Have what? A care of their body. Say these little girls, we gotta have a care for their body. For instance, you ever um, see these little girls at the bus stop with excessively tight khaki pants on? What are they going to school to do? To, to have a fashion show? To show off their behind? Or are they going to get an education, right? What, what's more important? You say to show off? That's what they're doing, right? Whose job is it? Who buys the uniforms? The parents, right? So we need to stop that. That's what we gotta start with. It's gonna start with us, right? Y'all got kids? Hey, good. All praises. All praises. Hey, y'all don't need to do that until y'all get ready for that, right? Until you get married. But watch this. Keep going. Has thou daughters have a care of their body and show not thyself cheerful toward them? Right. That was it on that. Uh, keep going. Watch this. Here go the point. Marry thy daughter. Do what? Marry thy daughter. We got to make sure our daughters get married. We got too many broken households. Get Deuteronomy uh, 22 and I think it's 23. Deuteronomy 22 and 23, because I'm from the old school. Y'all about my age, so y'all somewhat old school too. Y'all born in the 80s, right? 91. 91? Oh, man, my, my math is off. What about you? 89, you, you almost made the cut. You close, you know what I'm saying? So watch this. 2854. All right, but watch this. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 23. If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, then he shall bring them both out unto the gate of that city. So this is going into uh, you having kids in the household and they going out and smashing somebody. Why they live under your roof, right? Kids in the house, read. And ye shall stone them with stones that they die. The damsel, because she cried not, being in the city. And the man, because he hath humbled his neighbor's wife. Verse 21. Then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her father's house. Right, so if she got caught having sex in her dad, and she live at home with her dad. She ain't got her own place. Uh, she's not married. If she's having sex at home, read. And the men of her city shall stone her with stones that she die. So back in the day, we ain't played that, right? We got rid of evil out of our nation because God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments that separated us from everybody else. We was better than other people, right? But we not like that now. What you had? Uh, have, you, have you ever read this? Uh, I was in prison. You was in prison, okay. I was in prison. I was in church. In church, okay. Sang in the choir. In the choir, okay. Uh, 
So typical Sunday worship in church, right? That's wrong in itself, but I'm listening. Go ahead. I read uh, something called The Way of the Master. The Way of the Master. That's a book or that's a scripture? You know, it's, it's like a, uh, it's, it's a study thing. Like, a study thing. Okay. They were, like, they were, like, and you read it before? About, yeah, I got. I, I think I still got the, the study at the house. I got you. I got you. It was talking about, it was talking about like, where we came from. See, I'm half. I'm half Samoan, Indian, and black. Okay, so what your dad is though? My dad, Samoan, Indian. Samoan and Indian. So his, your dad's dad is a Samoan, or your dad's dad is an Indian? Dad, 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 dad was Samoan. My dad, mama was a half Indian. Half Indian. Okay. So the Samoans over in Hawaii, right on the islands of Hawaii, or just in the islands pier? The islands pier, okay. I ain't know that until I got out. I got you, but the crazy thing is, you say that your people is from Samoans, but you look just like me, right? How is it that your people are over at Deuteronomy 28, uh, 64? How is it that your people is from Somalia, not Somalia, but from the islands of uh, Samoa, or whatever the case, and my people is from Louisiana, how is it that we look alike, but we not quite from the same place? Why you think that is? Why you think, sis? He claiming so why? He claiming uh, Hawaii and, and Somalia. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to get a DNA test, right? You, you ever heard of Ancestry.com? They swab your mouth and, and find out I'm three fifths of this. You ain't do that, did you? No. Okay, you just going off what your pop said. I'm gonna show you why that is. What your people said. Yeah, I'm not sure that. I got you. It's true though, but I'm gonna show you. But there's no such thing as a mixed person, first of all, and then second of all, I'm gonna show you. I got you, but I'm gonna show you where that come from. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Where? Among all people. God scattered his chosen people. The people that's on this sign right here. You see it, big bro? The people that's on this sign right here, they've been scattered into all nations amongst all people. And now when we're amongst all these people, we identify as all these different lands that we're in. That's why you got terms like uh, Afro-Iranian, Afro-Filipino, Fil Fil uh, Filipino, you know what I'm saying? All these different terms. Afro-Mexican, right? No <laughs> such thing, right? We are the chosen people of God. But get that in uh, my key going. Finish that. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. It say from the one end of the earth, because the soldier just showed you where we come from, right? And where where is that? They say we come from a, a, a lot of cities. In, in from the power, the power of cities. You can't, because all of all the scriptures is not really in that power. You sure? All what's what's missing? Not, some of them is missing. Like what? See, I'm Baptist. I'm Baptist. What's a Baptist? That's a religion. Yeah, I know it's a religion, but listen to what I'm saying. It's a title. Where, where did Baptists come from, all though? Where, where did calling yourself a Baptist come from? I'm going to show you something. Where that sign at? I'm going to show you something. For you to identify that proudly and say, I'm a Baptist. Like, that really holds some weight. It don't hold no weight. I'm going to show you. That's what I was raised up here. I got you. And we've been raised in tradition of men. But watch this. you more than a Baptist. you way better than me. But look at this sign right here. You see, uh, John Smith created the word Baptist, or the religion, shall I say, Baptist, in 1608. What was our people at in 1608? In the 1600s, I'll say that. What was we at? Because 1608, he said, you know what? I'm going to take this book, and I'm going to say we're Baptist. Somebody came along in 1830, uh, Joseph Smith, and came up with Mormon. The same book, and said, I'm a Mormon. Somebody came along after that and said, I'm a Jehovah Witness. That's why I say you can't believe in that. So you, that but I'm saying, you can't, you can't identify. Get you to believe the, so, wait, 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 wait. You say we can't twist the words and identify? What you say? People re, re You're right. What people? Words. What people? You, you dang on right. You don't look like nobody on this sign right here. That's why I said what I said. All right. So I want you to show you that you're not a Baptist, though. You're not a Baptist. That's just a religion, right? That's why I said what, 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 when you get baptized, what, what are you actually doing when you get baptized? They say, wash you from your sins. Right. You become a new creature. You're absolutely correct. And I'm going to show you. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. Bring it out. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. With the what? By the word. With the washing of water 
by the word. So we out here washing our minds, right? Because we walk around and listen to uh, hood music that, that promotes uh, violence and calling our daughters uh, bees and thots and hoes. I'm going to show you in the scriptures that we're better than that. So that's going to change your mind. You're going to be baptized to the true understanding of who you are. You understand what I'm saying? But real quick, what's up, big bro? What's going on, man? You know that you just walked in into the midst of a baptism. You believe that? You heard of being baptized before? But you think of baptism, you think of water, right? You don't see no water out here, do you? Read it one more time. I'm going to show you what we out here doing. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So we out here washing our brains with the word of God. But you had a question, man? You like you was going to say something before you walk up. All right, so go back to, uh, what you got? All right, go back to, um, you said Revelation 1 and 14. You said, who was that picture right there? What y'all say? Who, who was this guy right here? Who was that? This one right here. Who they, all these are the same people, but who they say that is? You said it's supposed to be? And, and in the Jehovah Witness magazine, they showed us Jesus, right? What you say? What you say? What I say is, Think you think he black? You think he black? Alright. What you say, sis? Yeah. You probably say it don't matter. What you say? <laughs> it don't. You say it don't matter? What you say, big bro? It don't matter. Well, this not, my mind play game. Your mind play I mean, game, I mean, okay. I ain't no bad week. I'm listening. <laughs> For so long, we gotta understand. Uh, like, Revelation 1. We come from. Yeah, where we come from, they, okay. Like they say we come from. Monkeys. We come from no monkeys. That's Darwinism, right? Yeah. So we evolved from monkeys, right? Yeah. But yet there's still monkeys on the earth. So what why they ain't changed, right? So that's false. That's false. What else you say? And, and they say then we come from Africa. They come from Africa. Africa. That's a huge continent with a bunch of countries in it. Okay. Black, black and African, we don't get along because they say we but first of all, the term African, uh, the continent was conquered by Leo Scipio Africanus. He was a white man. It's a bunch of countries inside of that one continent. So it was people in those lands at one time before we came to those lands. And we are not the same people. We look similar, but we're not the same people. But that's going further. But right now we're going to deal with Christ. Revelation 1 and 14. Watch this. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So this is describing Jesus the Christ. He said his head, talking about the hair on top of his head, and his hairs, talking about the hair on his face. It's a commandment that a man got to have a beard on his face. And both of y'all are keeping that commandment. So all praise. Did y'all know that was a commandment? You didn't know? What about you? You knew it was a commandment? So all praise. You keeping that thing. Keep going. As white as snow. But his hairs was white in color, right? Like snow, right? White. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Jesus Christ's eyes look like a flame of fire. His first miracle was turning water into wood. You say wine, what you say? Turning water into wine. When they saw him, they called him a wine bibber and said he was gluttonous. He wasn't, but he had a little alcohol with him. It's not a sin for us to drink alcohol. The sin is when you walk around being a drunk and a wino, right? Christ was neither of those things, right? So watch this, keep going. And his feet like unto fine brass. So this John the Revelator, he looked down at Christ's feet and said his feet look like brass. What color is brass? Sandy brown. A sandy brown? What you say? What color brass? Y'all see this thing right here called a manure? That's brass. That's what color it is. Looks like a penny, right? Copper, right? That looks like that's the like they do for water. Yeah, yeah. That's called a manure, right? Hold the seven candlesticks, right? That's that's our heritage, right? We're supposed to have that thing. But Say his feet look like brass. Do you see this color of this brother's face? It's almost the same color as that, that brass, right? When the uh, the uh, the explorers first came over here in the early 1400s, they used to write down in their journals, and they described the people of the land when they got here. And the people of California, the aboriginals, they say they were copper-colored people. What, what, what those people look like, copper-colored people? They look like us, right? We was already here, but watch this, keep going. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So it was already brown, brass, but it said he looked like what? As if they burned in a furnace. So he was already brown, he looked like he had been burnt in a furnace. What color is that? Looked like it was black, right? That's what we identify as black. We actually different shades of brown, but we would call that black today, right? So what are we describing? Jesus was, was what? 
He's a black man, right? All uh, praises. Uh, we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.